Hello everybody, uh, this is Amin Mojira, and I am doing this short uh, screencast for those web developers who want to test uh, their web pages on different operating systems and different web browsers um, using a, a nifty tool that um, is on the web called Browser Stack. Um, one of the things that I've probably guessed is that some of you may have a problem with figuring out um, how to um, install browser t uh, stack through the command line to test your pages locally and that's what I'm going to show you on uh, this screencast so first let me pull up uh, browser stack so this is browser stack and it's a testing tool that uh, does cost cost a monthly subscription I use the nineteen dollars a month uh, subscription it has other plans that you can use but this is the one that's most commonly used um, and so the way browser stack works is that you know you can test um, uh, your public URLs um, here using different browsers so like say for instance we want to test uh, bra uh, starbucks.com so we click the start testing tool and it's going to test an Internet Explorer 8 because that's what I set it to. And I'm on a Mac, so um, I'm showing you how to do this on a Mac. So it's connecting, it's doing all its uh, processing and stuff. So now I can see um, the Starbucks.com um, site um, in Internet Explorer on Windows 7. So if I wanted to switch and go to um, another um, browsers such as Internet Explorer 8 or Firefox on Windows 7 I could or uh, or I can um or I could uh you know choose a, a different operating system I could choose Windows 8 I can choose Snow Leopard Lion Mountain Lion or Windows XP I can even test on iOS and um, Android and Opera Mobile so browser stack does give you um, a lot of uh, flexibility to do that um, so what I want to do is I want to do some local testing so let me stop this right quick and go back to my dashboard and I want to test um, now you can either use a web tunnel but you know um, if you're real good and, and, and you want to be um, um, precise the command line is probably the best way to go so that's what I'm going to show you how to do and I'm going to show you how to do it using your your local URL so um, like localhost and then your uh, user your user your user um, folder for your uh, Mac site so what I do is I go ahead and I click the command line um, option and I'm gonna go ahead and download this uh, browser uh, stack tunnel dot jar file this Java file and I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my sites folder so save it to my sites folder and then it gives you basic instructions um, of how to go ahead and run a command. Um, so, if, for instance, we want to see um, if this is running. They give you this local host, um, these commands right here. Um, I have a bash profile file um, already created, um, a, bad, a script in my bash profile file um, created so that you can see um, how I did it. So, if I go to in profile yeah, I put in my password and I'm gonna go ahead and go down to my bash script um, I have an alias being called called stack and then I'm calling I'm calling the Java um, I'm calling the script Java underscore I mean dash jar browser stack dot jar and then I'm using the key that they're asking me for I'm doing local host I'm giving the port and then the SSL uh, port um, if we look right here if we look right here let me zoom in a little bit for you so that you can see if you look right here they're giving you that example and they're asking me for my um, key which is this right here so that's what I did and again I put that in the bash script so that I can run it so um, let me get out of this and let me just go ahead and call stack and watch what happens oops hold on uh, bash. Oops. okay hold on 
hold on for one second. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and manually call it uh, this time. Let me do this. So I'm going to go back into my um, bash uh, profile and just copy that line of code. So I'll just copy this right here just to show you that it works. So copy that, get out of that, paste it right here. And why isn't this working? Hold on for one second. Let's open up a finder. Let's open up. So we have the jar there. So, oh, duh, I'm not in the right folder. I'm in the wrong folder right here. So as you can see, you have to be in your sites folder. So let me go CD tildes sites boom and now if I run this if I run stack now it will work so if I go stack it is doing whatever it's doing right now it should go ahead and run and now it's running and so then browser stack turns and let me zoom out and now it's at localhost 80 so if I click on that it's gonna go ahead and run Everything is running in, in Internet Explorer 7, I mean 8, 8 on Windows 7, so I'll be able to see the, uh, uh, the Apache server running on Internet Explorer 7. So it works, and so now you can go ahead and, and put in your, your, your sites folder, so you can go tilde in my case, I'm in Mojara, slash, and then there it is and so this is the same thing so I'm testing it in Internet Explorer 8 on Windows 7 and here it is the native window on my Mac so that's basically how you can use browser stack and set up a lo local tunnel through the command line interface uh, to run it and you know to get out of it all you do is uh, press control C and that'll get you out of it and if you go back to browser stack you can Stop the whole thing right there. And basically, I said I just wanted to show you that uh, quick screencast.